AI is creating all types of new possibilities for what we can do with blockchains. But large language models like ChatGPT typically have one major problem on their hands. They only really know about information that's publicly available on the internet prior to 2021. But what if you could unlock the power of these artificial intelligence tools and actually connect them to the blockchain and get insights about what's happening right now and what's happened in the past? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do today in this video as a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory. And on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to how to become a blockchain master step-by-step -step, start to finish, get ahead of the next crypto wave, then I can show you how to do that over at adaptdiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this. Let's talk about how to hook up the blockchain to an artificial intelligence model like ChatGPT. So, you know, if you've used ChatGPT, you might be asking it questions. And all the answers to those questions are basically trained upon a data set that's really just the entire internet prior to 2021. But that data set doesn't really include information about what's out there on the blockchain right now. And so how can you connect these two things together so that you can start asking these types of questions and start generating insights? Well, you can do this now with ChatGPT plugins. So ChatGPT opened up the possibility for third-party developers to create plugins where they can pull in external data and then actually train the AI model on this data and start making sense of what you're pulling in. And so what I'm gonna show you right now are several different plugins that allow you to do this. I'm gonna show you the best ones all the way to the not so good ones and how you can use them to get a leg up. And make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to show you my favorite one last. All right, so the first plugin comes from the Alchemy API. So if you're not familiar with Alchemy, it's a Web3 development platform. There's a lot of different things, but most notably, it provides you with access to blockchain nodes that you can hook up to you know, many different blockchains that you want to. And what you can do is now hook ChatGPT into this so that you can start asking questions about the blockchain inside of the service. So all you have to do is go enable the Alchemy plugin. I'll show you how to do that later. Let's see what you can do with it. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is just a really simple query, which I'm going to say, hey, what is the balance of Vitalik.eth? Okay, and it just simply returns the answer. Vitalik.eth on the Ethereum network is approximately 934 ETH. And if I go check that on a block explorer like Etherscan, it checks out. Now, you might say, hey, this is just a really simple example. That's not that cool. But you have to think about how powerful it is, right? You can just ask it a question and it knows where to find this information. Where some of that stuff, like if you don't, not that proficient with a block explorer, you don't know Vitalik Buterin's, you know, Ethereum address, it's able to resolve all that stuff and give you an answer instantly. All right, so another example is I asked it, you know, how much liquidity is in a specific Uniswap pool? Now that might sound like a simple question, but there's actually a lot of information that it has to understand in order to effectively get that answer. So I just pasted in a Uniswap pool address and it actually returned the pool address with the token names and the symbols and the exact amount of cryptocurrency for each you know, token in the trading pair. And what's really cool is it also said that, the, hey, yeah, here's the pool address. Here's the two primary tokens that we you know, believe are the two tokens in the trading pair, but there's all these other extra tokens and we're not going to count those. So that's pretty impressive. So if you go look at the Uniswap pool, the numbers match up as to the amount of ETH, or sorry, WETH in the WETH USDC pool and the amount of USDC, but then it also has these other small tokens. Some of them might just be accidentally deposited there or scam tokens, and it completely excludes those from the response. So it's pretty smart. All right, so now those are some examples of how you can basically use this as a natural language processor that really just sits on top of a block explorer like Etherscan to get back answers that you might be able to get by searching Etherscan, but you know, do it in a little more human readable way. But you can also do things like, you know, get insights on NFT traders, for example. So if you know people who have profitably sold NFTs, maybe you might want to monitor their activity and just get some of those insights, you know, surface to you uh, to where you can just look at it at a glance. So I did that. So I said, can you show me the five most recent NFT purchases from this wallet with images? And I put in the address of a trader that I know uh, is pretty active and has made profitable trades. So it gives me a perfect answer. Okay. It gives the name of the NFT. Uh, the contract address, the date was traded, and then the image. 
And you can see that for all five results right here. All right, so next I asked it, hey, what blockchains does this particular plugin support? So with Alchemy, you can currently query based on the Ethereum mainnet, Polygon, Polygon ZK AVM, Arbitrum, and Optimism. So five different chains. And this is important because it's going to differentiate this from a couple of other plugins that I'm going to talk about here in a minute. And so before we move on, if you want a complete reference onto what you can do with the Alchemy Chat GPT plugin, you can check out the documentation on the Alchemy website. Just look for the Alchemy Chat GPT plugin. And also, if you want to plug in ChatGPT to we're doing more developer-focused tasks, Alchemy has a chat web three where you can basically ask it questions like, hey, how do I put a token on this blockchain? And it will spit you back the code and how to do that type of stuff with their software developer kit. All right, so plugin number two comes from Chainstack. Okay, so Chainstack is a similar type of platform like Alchemy. It's mostly a blockchain as a node service where you can hook up to multiple different blockchains without having to run your own node. And they've created a plugin that goes into ChatGPT so that you can start asking questions of the blockchain. And so I asked, you know, Chainstack, hey, what blockchains do you support with this plugin? So Ethereum, Polygon, Avalanche, Arbitrum, and Gnosis. So you get a couple different blockchains you don't get with the Alchemy platform. So that may be, you know, one reason why you want to use this plugin over the other one, because it just simply supports other networks that the other one doesn't. All right. So with this plugin, you have lots of the same types of capabilities as the Alchemy plugin. You can look at the most recent information, the blockchain, check account balances, look at lots of different information, which you can see on my screen here. So I kind of put it to the test, you know, it was able to answer a very similar question like Alchemy's API, like, hey, what's the balance for Vitalik.eth? It's able to resolve that to look up his address and find the ETH balance. But then it didn't do so well when I asked it to show me the five most recent NFT purchases from the same wallet that I tried in the previous example. It said, hey, I apologize, can't do this. Can we try again? I said, yes, try again. And it didn't quite work. So I'm going to rank this plugin as number two. There's lots of valuable stuff you can do here, but it doesn't quite seem as powerful as the Alchemy plugin. That being said, if there's some things you wanna do with a couple of these blockchains that maybe Alchemy doesn't support just yet, then there might be a use case for you here. All right, so the third plugin is gonna be the Cryptomation plugin, all right? So I'm gonna put this plugin third because you know it's pretty limited in what it can do. It's really only able to check like account balances and validate uh, if you can actually, you know, if certain addresses belong to a specific blockchain. I see that's useful, but it's still only two, two limited things. Uh, that being said, it does support some other blockchains that some of these other plugins don't support. So I put it on the list simply for that criteria. They support Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, uh, Polygon, Near, and Tron, and others as, you know, indicated by etc. And it is pretty limited because I asked it, you know, hey, what's the balance of Vitalik.eth? It wasn't able to properly resolve the ENS name. You'd have to go off and find that information and put it back into ChatGPT in order to look that up. But Again, you might find some value on this on a different blockchain that these other plugins don't support. All right, so the next plugin, again, this is my favorite one, is the Check the Chain plugin. So what is it? What does it do? Well, Check the Chain really is a blockchain analytics tool, um, mostly for developers, okay? So what does it do? What can you do with it? Well, let's look at the problem with blockchains. So blockchains are notoriously hard to query. So basically, you know, blockchain is a ledger of transactions and you can look at the current state of the blockchain pretty easily. When you start going back in time and history, things get a little bit harder. So you have the importance of being able to query historical data. There's different solutions for this. You can turn it into a SQL database and do things like Dune Analytics where you can write SQL queries against it. But again, that's kind of challenging because you have to know SQL. A lot of people don't know that. And Check the Chain has a tool where you can do this uh, connect directly to a node, but it's in a Python library, which is awesome if you're a Python developer, it's a superpower. But if you don't have that ability, then how can you get some of this benefit uh, without knowing SQL, without knowing Python to use ChatGPT? Well, they have a ChatGPT plugin. All right, so how does this plugin work? Well, it has lots of different things that it supports, but you have to understand it organizes the data into data sets. So those data sets are basically... Um, the, the blockchains themselves. So what changes to support? Ethereum, Polygon, Gourley, Scroll, Arbitrum, Canto, and Nova. So we already see some blockchains that aren't supported in the previous plugin. So if you want to perform some basic tasks, you know, you might be able to use it for that. But you can also do more advanced stuff. Like you can actually be aware of like DEX trades, for example. So you can see that here in the tables. So the data sets are basically the databases and then the tables are the tables inside that database. There's DEX swaps on here. There's also things like ENS names, like Tornado Cash deposits, NFT sales protocols, NFT owners, token prices, which natively don't exist on the blockchain. You can get really creative with all this stuff to create your own queries inside of ChatGPT. So what are some examples? 
Well, I just said, hey, can you show me like a table format of the most recent DEX trades from this specific Uniswap pool? Okay, so it asked the information from the plugin and then it formatted all that for me in a table with the transaction hashes, which I can click out to on Etherscan. They're already hyperlinked inside the response. I can see the timestamp for those the token address that was traded in each of those and get the price. And just like the NFTs that I was talking about in the previous example, like if you know traders who that you want to follow, you can do similar types of things like uh, get DEX trades because they have all those ETLs inside these databases. So if you want to look at like the most five recent DEX trades from somebody you want to follow, for example, I just popped an address in here. It'll show you those, okay? You can look at the token addresses that are traded in each of those and also hyperlink out to the transactions on Etherscan for further research. So this one is by far my favorite plugin on the list because, you know, we're just scratching the surface on what you can possibly do with all this data to where you don't have to query it with SQL or Python. You can let the AI do the heavy lifting for you. All right, so how can you enable plugins on your chat GPT account so you can unlock this superpower? So unfortunately, this is not available in the free version of ChatGPT that we're kind of recording this video. You do have to upgrade to the premium subscription, which is going to get you access to GPT-4 and also the use of plugins. Now, if you decide to do that, it's not a sponsored video or anything like that. But if you decide to do that, um, you have some additional steps that you have to take. So once you've upgraded, you have to go to the settings of your account. You have to go to the beta features and you have to enable plugins right here. Okay. And then once you've done that, you open up a new chat prompt and you look at, you go to the GPT-4 model. This is not going to work inside of GPT-3.5. Uh, you click on the plugins enabled and then you can see my plugins here. Go to the plugin store or right, you can search for blockchain and you can see the different blockchain plugins that are available here. Okay. So if you want to check out like the Alchemy one that I mentioned before, or the tech on chain, those are probably my top two picks. You can install both of those this way. And then once you've installed them, you need to enable them for your prompts. Like for Alchemy, you click on Alchemy and just say, hey, what is the balance of Vitalik.eth? And you should be good to go. All right, so that's an overview of how you can connect ChatGPT to the blockchain. So we're just scratching the surface on what you can do with this information. And if you find something cool and creative that you can use ChatGPT for, let me know in the comment section below. Have you tried this? Are there cool things that nobody else is doing that, that you want to talk about on this channel? So as always, you know, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Make sure you turn on the notifications because you're going to see more awesome videos just like this showing you what you can do with blockchain. And if you like what you see in this video and you want to take the next step and get ahead of the next crypto wave, then how can you do that? When you go to my YouTube homepage, you can find my free courses there. They like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those videos and you want to take the next step or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, I can show you to become a blockchain master step-by-step -step start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I thought people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dappuniversity.